We Yo, what the fuck is going on? It's motherfucking season two of this bitch. Two in this episode bitch. one. And yeah. you know we motherfucking pink house, you little pussy bitches. Yeah. We got new merch. Two. We got motherfucking new merch. Two. We got hats. Um, we got two. bitches. We got niggas. We got blacks. We got ways. What you want, nigga? Season two. What we got? Season two. Anything. Season two. Yo, uh, I got mad shit, what you want? Okay. I got all the shits, what you want? What you want? We back here, what you want? What you want? You want us? I'ma give it to you. I'ma pull my dick out, never mind. I'ma stand up, nah, never mind. I'ma fuck your bitch, nah, never mind. I'ma hit your mom, never mind. Season two, season two, season two, season two. What is? What is? What is it? Break it down, bitch. We talk. Y'all believe me. Season two. 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 We were conflicted with some afflictions. Mm. Conflicted with afflictions. Conflicted with an affliction. We had we conflicted with an affliction, baby. Mm -hmm. The vid tried to take us out, dog. Yeah. Nah. The vid. The COVID vid tried to take us out. You talking COVID about that new itself. YouTube video? What you talking about? Nah, I'm talking about mm. COVID nineteen mm -hmm. itself. The, the Rona. young coronavirus the Rona. tried to COVID take your out. It's not the same. It's trying to take the squad out. Yo, the whole squad. Out. The whole squad, everybody nah, I mean, in Pink House got take it. Take Lou out, didn't take Sean out. Lou and Sean somehow dodged didn't the take bullet. Aaron out. <laughs> it didn't take Aaron out. It didn't take Nicole out either. It Matter didn't take fact, Nicole. Somehow, I'll try somehow to it just got me and you. It just tried to kill us. It was like, yo, this podcast is it's not tried to that. kill everybody. No, these niggas in it. Yo, what honestly, yo, 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 we were fucking up. We, yo. I'm not gonna say that. look, look, look. You can cut to a couple moments where I'm yeah, saying I'm yeah. not gonna get the fucking I'm not gonna get Corona. Um, I went to Boston twice, my nigga. I've been to Boston two times. Two times. Back and forth. I've seen over a thousand people during quarantine. <laughs> I got back, tested. I'm negative. You know what that means? Mm. Either the Corona is bullshit, <laughs> or I got these motherfucking super immune systems, my nigga. I got these auto. Hey. What's the what's these niggas called? Antibodies. Auto I got the antibodies, antibodies, nigga. The auto. I'm like not gonna get it. Out. <laughs> that shit was like the Monstars. It was coming yo, to steal your community yo, town. Yo, Corona. I feel like. <laughs> and the, then it just passed over me and Lou. It was like, ah, nah, we nigga. don't need them. <laughs> I feel like COVID was literally sitting at his crib watching our podcast, mm -hmm. getting tight as fuck. Man, yo, <laughs> just facts. mad at us, nigga. Man. Like, yo, fuck it. Oh, you niggas think you a. Oh, you, you think, think you're you better than me, dude? Oh, you think you, you think you better than me? You think I can't touch you, huh? Uh oh, oh I'ma show you. Niggas. I'ma show you niggas what it is. I can touch you. All right? I'ma touch you. I'ma get inside you. Oh, and we got touched. <laughs> we got touched. We got we got R. Kelly. Yeah, touched. Wait, no, 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 no. I got Omarion. Touch, touch, touch. We didn't get peed on by nobody, but no, like, <laughs> we no. did. We did get Omarion touched. It was, uh, did, how, what was your, what was your, uh, for the people that don't know, that people haven't, like, who, like the 10 people who haven't gotten coronavirus. Yes. All 10 of them. <laughs> all 10 yeah, of let them know. You what 10 it, niggas what that have not like? been afflicted. Tell, tell us, what does it feel early. like? What is it, what is it like? I'll what say it this. Like? It's the most annoying cold of, in the world. Mm -hmm. Because also when you get it, 
Look, I told my mom I got it, right? I took my test. And mind you, the test is, was a drive through It was like going to fucking get you a, get you a burger, burger at Burger King. <laughs> like, straight up. Yeah. We're in the whip. We get it. We, we pull up to the window. The nigga tell us, put up to another window. We spit in a cup, boop, 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 whatever. Swab our mouths and bong, bong, bong. Give it to him. He throws it in a trash can looking thing. Yeah. And we pull off. Yeah. I, I got a question. I've been tested with y'all for that show. Yeah. Was it different than that? It was yes. way different. It was way better. That one was. So much better. That one was. The, when, we got, when we got tested for the show, we went to the Nas show. It was very professional. It was very, it was very yeah. upfront, but it was more evasive because they thorough. went through the nostril, and it yeah. was more thorough. With this one, nigga, it was like clean your mouth, nigga, and then you, we'll, we'll see. Mm. So but you, okay, they do so tell we you get, to call first. They yeah, call they do first. tell you to call first, yeah. but whatever. So we get to we get to the crib. I fucking I fucking like within twenty four hours we get the fucking results, and nigga, like it just says yeah positive. Mm. It don't say like, yo, you positive, go to your next fucking physician. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, take no the medicine. Here's your there's medications. No no, Here's nothing. what you want to do. There's nothing. It's just like, yo, nigga, you positive. Yeah. Positive. Well, yeah. it's like they're positive. Locked, you got they, don't even, they don't even say like sorry, sir. It's they're like, they're they're like <laughs> sorry. It's like, yo, you positive. Fuck it. You got it. They don't even say that. So we just say, so I called my mom. I'm like, yo, ma, I just took the test. Uh, I got I got COVID. She, she started like, crying. She's no, she's just like, oh. well, what did they tell you to do? I'm like, who's they? I didn't even see a person. There was no day. There was no day. They, they didn't tell me nothing. She's like, so what? Who 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 you gonna talk to? I'm like, I don't know. Who do who do you talk to about this? So basically, I hit up my PCP, which is your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. I hit him up, and I'm fucking sitting there. And I'm just like, I think you got a different definition of PCP. Yeah, uh, well, PCP, yeah. It's primary care physician. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I learned yeah, that this during this. Yeah, we all know I learned that, that from you because when you told I me you took PCP, I, hit up PCP. I was like, yo, D I don't now think I'm PCP better. He's gonna be what makes this. <laughs> so PCP go away, is PCP for COVID. I don't think yeah. it cures Corona. Cure I was up for forty days. I burnt it. I burnt it out. The COVID got tired and went to sleep. I was up for fourteen. Oh, days. Like, when is this guy sleep? <laughs> I was up for 14 days and 14 nights. I tired oh COVID ass out. Oh nah, but look. Oh my God. So yeah, so I, I fucking talked to my PCP. My, this nigga just said, yo, cold medicine, nigga, and fucking don't die. Like, that's all, nigga. And I fucking, I lost my, I lost, like, I had the body aches. I had the shivers. I had the headaches and shit like that. My sleep pattern was all fucked up, but I already have insomnia, so it's whatever. Yep. And then I lost my sense of smell, though. Oh no, yo, nigga, like, not even lost it. Like, I just got. They called it smell illusions type shit. <laughs> like where every like everything that had vinegar in it smelled mm. like ammonia straight up. Oh, like I couldn't do anything. I thought you were just like imagining soul. smells. Like, Damn there, no, I was. Yeah, it was. Oh, I really? was smelling yeah, ammonia. Basically. I walked into his room. Basically. I had bought barbecue because I had been eat, drinking soup the whole time. I bought barbecue. I got like some short ribs and shit. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna eat something solid so I could take a solid shit. I'm tired of shitting through a straw. <laughs> So I go to my man Monte. I'm like, yo, smell this meat, dog. Like, it smelled like ammonia, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah. He was like, like, and yo, physically, like dead ass. Mm -hmm. Like it was, you could tell it was physically affecting me. Like, my eyes started watering. Mm -hmm. Like my nose started running. I was like, yo, smell this. It don't smell like ammonia to you. He was like, nah, dude, it just kind of smell like meat. <laughs> <laughs> It was barbecue. barbecue. He was just like, yo, nah, I just... Like, he looked at me and was just like, like dead yeah, ass. Do like, you yo. want it or not? Nah. <laughs> He's like, nah, I just smell I like can, meat, I can nigga. take it off your hands for you <laughs> if you want me to. He just kept looking <laughs> at Fun it. fact, if you can't smell, you can't taste. Oh, oh yeah. So that's, that's the same connected. system. Yeah. yeah, they were connected. connected. Things that yeah. things that had the ammonia shit on it, like, if it, like I could taste the ammonia. But, like, I, did, I could still taste other shit. But then I did lose my smell for, like, completely for a whole day. But I wasn't eating much. I lost my appetite, so it was whatever. Okay. But then I got, but then I got my, I got my all my shit back in like seventeen days. It was like seventeen, twenty days. You, you two days. got it together like the chicken pox. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Well, I everybody mean, in our house had everyone it. Everyone in our house had it. Yeah. Everyone in our house. When we found out the first, you know, first when we found out I had it, I was like, <laughs> I, you know what I that was like, I, it was weird. I immediately, I went home immediately, cleaned everything. I was stressed out. Yep. And uh, and then you know, then immediately like a few hours later. I didn't get a headache. Like people That's were telling how angry get, like, black women handle their problems. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning <laughs> up. No, everything. Monte was light skinned oh, yeah. in the house. I, I, yeah, I Head wrapping whole, everything. The whole house, bro. Yeah. And then uh I was like, then like a few hours later, I, I got like a, it wasn't a headache. And everyone always tells me that like, you know, when you get it, you get a headache, like and your eyes hurt. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't even yeah, that my for me. Eyes were if my eyes weren't hurting, I just I, I got like real 
like fuzzy in my head. Like, yeah. like I was inhaling. I thought it was because I was inhaling all the bleaches. I was cleaning, cleaning things. Mm. But it was like I was like, nah, maybe not. Because the next morning I still felt it. Yeah. And like, and even then it was weird. That morning I woke up. It was I had a cough and a weird sore throat, and I was like, this is different than yeah. usual. Like, yeah. Because you, you know sometimes when you party, sometimes you know, when you go out, yeah. you might wake up with a little cough or something, yeah. like, like stuffy nose or something. Shit was. But terrible. it was like I didn't even do nothing last night, man. I was I, I didn't go anywhere. I, <laughs> to the yo. house. Why do I have this? Yo, we got yo. The moment I found out that my bro tested positive, I was sick immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, headache, body aches, stomach aches, throwing up, shitting, like, all that. Like, because, like, immediately after he's, yo, I got it. I was like, oh, word? Yeah. And then my mind was like, yeah, yeah, you got that shit. Right. Before I even got tested. Shit was crazy. Man. But, yo. I think I've thought my way out of corona a couple times. You like should. where I was about to get it, and then right. I was just like, nah, nah, that ain't it. And then See, it just was, and it went away. Right. <laughs> yeah, shit just went away. Bro. Like said, nah, it's that's not, not Corona. It's not it. <laughs> that ain't it's it. Not, yeah, I just got know, only. I just got anxiety, only if bro. Someone had brought in <laughs> tingle. Yo, New York, New York got the CDC oh, in New York no, got a got a special name for niggas like Lou. Yo, the CDC in New York got a special name for niggas like Lou. They call them super spreaders. That's what. Nah, it ain't me, bro. Nigga said. Nigga said. Nigga said. I chew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, my eyes don't hurt. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> nah, I just got inside. I, I just read today. I just read today that like some article said like, that I can can smell anyway. The people who pocket. were spreading the Rona most recently is a study showed that like are the people that have no symptoms at all. Exactly. Niggas just walking around. Not known at all. Yeah. <laughs> they, at Yo, get all. tested, nigga. Go get tested for coronavirus. Know your status, nigga. It's just like yeah. knowing your status for HIV and AIDS and syphilis and gonorrhea and chlamydia and, mm -hmm. and your credit. And your credit. Fucking get tested, nigga. Yeah. And check your FICO score from time to time. Every Fucking once in bastards. a while, at least once a quarter. Figure yeah. out what your what FICO score means <laughs> and then you can... Was it FICO? FICO, yeah. Figure out what your FICO score means... <laughs> And then figure out, go figure out what the number is. Yeah. And get tested for corona. And get yeah, for corona. do that too. You bitches. Because mm -hmm. niggas, mans like me, don't need it twice. Just apply yeah. for castings. You get a free corona test. Yeah. Oh, facts. Life hack. That's true. Life hack. And now that we're all at home, you can cast, for, you can, you know, get send in submissions to be casting things from far away. You could be in Colorado and audition into being something in L.A. because you're Shit. on Zoom. 2021 yeah. might be popping for you, and, you and know? Yo, look, listen, nigga. <laughs> I need somebody to watch me jerk off on cam. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, side note. <laughs> we can, <laughs> yo, we, we can around, around, that, around, you know? around. <laughs> During that know. quarantine, though, 14, yo, 17 days by myself in my room, nigga, and Monte wasn't even trying to talk to a nigga because he didn't want to catch what strain I had. Yeah, I was scared. Nigga, Monte, no, I didn't want to cross strains. strains. Me you and Monte didn't want to cross strains, nigga. We was like, <laughs> fuck this nigga. We was talking through the wall. Yeah. Yo, we didn't even fucking look Dude, at the each other. What was weird was everyone. Okay, so I like after like, the first week, I was like, all right, I feel pretty good. Like I feel like I don't even yeah. have any symptoms like that anymore. But then I could tell that when I talked to people on the phone and when people saw my face on Facetime, everyone was like, Nah, you still look sick. I'm like, I don't really know what that is. And, and then I realized later, once I was feeling really good, I would go out and like you know, Tanji or, or Sully wasn't feeling that good. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, y'all, how y'all feeling? Like, man, I feel great. I'm like, nigga, you look like Michael Jordan after the flu game, but you lost the flu game. Like niggas look defeated. Niggas is. Yeah, man, I feel great, bro. <laughs> 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 I feel incredible, bro. I feel. Yo, I'm getting tested yo, tomorrow. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm tomorrow. saying. Yeah, we all, you that's how you beat tomorrow? it. That's all how right. you beat it. I was it. telling my mom. I was telling my mom after my to get my first test. I was telling my mom after those ten days. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get tested now. She was like, okay. <laughs> that's what my mom said too. Like, oh, okay. My mom said the exact same thing. And she was like, you know, you yeah. She didn't yeah. say nothing about like I mean I, I hopefully good spirits yeah. baby. So <laughs> she's just like I had more hopes than anybody. <laughs> that shit came back positive twice, nigga. Was yeah, like, that was, was the, that was more up. crushing than anything was getting it twice. Yeah, because I felt good after that like tenth, eleventh day, and I was like, oh yeah, I got it out in ten days, baby. Yeah. That's the minimum. It's and 10. then I got my positive I got again. I got my second positive, and then I sat. <laughs> I got my pack second positive, nigga. And that's what I. That's when I was sitting there like. I just, I, I just thought I was, I, yo, nigga. I thought I was out. I was out. I, th I was like, COVID got me. <laughs> Damn, got me, nigga. that's it. Got me. You got me, bro. Take me it. out, nigga. I'm calling it. COVID. Yo, I was just like, yo, fuck this shit. I'm calling it. That was it, right was there. Like, yo, 17 days in the crib. I was almost thinking to myself, like, yo, nigga, I might as well. 
It's better to die on your feet than in your room, nigga. So I was like, <laughs> I'm about to plan a party, nigga. Fuck it, nigga. I'm about to go outside, nigga. I'm about, I, yo, and that's what they call a super spreader. That's what they call a super spreader. That's what they call a super spreader. I was about to hit a parties, nigga. Oh I was like, fuck God. these niggas. I started, yo, mad niggas, yo. People who don't invite me to shit, nigga, invited me to mm. mad parties. Mm. Mad parties. Niggas who don't invite me to anything ever out, any other time, nigga. I got invited to four different parties, nigga, from like some niggas who I ain't talked to in months. You got a flyer. <laughs> Come on down to the cocaine and titties party. Come exactly. on uh, down. You got to be able to smell barbecue to get in. <laughs> if you can smell barbecue, <laughs> come on down to the cocaine and titties party. <laughs> Step right up. We got barbecue, cocaine, and titties. He's like, oh, I love all three. <laughs> <laughs> Can't yeah. resist. Smell barbecue. But doing this whole That's thing, hilarious. like, dur during this whole, like, COVID-19 little, little bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely did have to, like, sit down and, like, like, you know, like who's who's the person that you listen to, like like in in a time of like like these hardships. Like you know, like you start listening to your mother a lot differently. Mm -hmm. Like you know, like your mom when you just got a little cold, nigga, and you not scared and shit. Mm -hmm. Your mom's like, yo, you better take drink some tea and eat this garlic. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, nah, fuck that garlic, nigga. Fuck fuck out of here. I got mm -hmm. cold. Yeah, okay, oh, I feel you. But well, like yeah. I feel yeah, I don't yeah. know nothing about vitamins. But like exactly. I was like, fuck shit. these vitamins. But right. when you don't know what the sickness is, nigga, you take any advice you get, nigga. Right. I, nigga was yo, one of our friends, she's in the studio today. She was like, she was like, yo, boil onions and oranges <laughs> and sit over the pot. Yeah. I was like, oh, I sit over. Yo, yo, yo! Any yeah, other time, to steam your pussy, nigga. Yo, nigga, he's just trying to set you up. I was like, what's this for enemas, nigga? The fuck? That was a pussy was steam for? she was setting you up for. <laughs> I did that pussy steam. <laughs> I swear, for God, I did that pussy steam on my face, nigga. I said, fuck it, y'all sitting over the shit. I ain't care about shit though. Man. But like, yo, do who, I, I, who do you, my mom, my mom was, well, cause my brother and sister had had it like in June when the second wave came. Cause we're in the third wave now, which is wild as hell. Yeah. When the, when the second wave came, my brother and sister both got it. And so they, they kind of like had to figure out how to take it, take care of themselves. And then my uncles like all had it. Like my whole like family in Louisiana got it. So like, everybody the same spot. got it, but your dad, my mom, oh your mom my dad, my mom didn't get it. Hmm. Um, in my household, in my, like my immediate family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just them two. Now, um, which is which is I'm comfortable with now because now I feel like yo, there's no threat of me bringing it over there as of right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, at least for a while, like you know, I won't bring it over there. Well, hopefully but, um, we got the antibodies. Yeah, exactly. We, are, we exactly. exempt. Which but, means um, now it's like fuck this shit. Yeah, you know I mean, with quarantine, what if I got the antibodies now? You can actually suck my dick. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yo, I'm out. I'm outside. What up? And that's what we call a <laughs> super. super yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> but yeah. uh, my mom like immediately was like, after I told her we was, we was positive all in the house, um, she was like, well, she was like, well, you guys will be all right. I'll bring you guys want some groceries. I'll bring you guys some stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. And she brought us like her and my dad. Brought us like all kind of groceries and like soup and like my mom wrote a long letter. I don't know if you saw the letter. Yeah, I did. She wrote a long letter of all this stuff. She's like, "Hey, I've added vitamins in this bag, all separated. Everyone take one a day." And yeah. like, yep. And she was like drinking Yo. tea. Yeah, she and, did. And then she put candy in there because yep. what it just passed. Like Halloween, just Halloween, passed. Halloween it just passed. Like, and then she put loose candy in there. She's like, "I only had three bags and there were four bags or something like that." She's like, "I only had four bags, so I'm sorry. Yeah. This loose candy." I'm yeah, sorry. well, yo, we and we had motherfucker. My mom, I used all that shit. Everything, everything she brought, everything she brought, yeah, everything my my mom and dad brought over there. Like I. We use all that. We had our cool. parents doing shit for us that they never did yo. since we moved into the crib. They gave me yo, money for the first time exactly. since I moved out. My mom out. sent me, my mom, my mom sent, like, me sent you some money and I was like, all right, cool. Money, <laughs> all right. My mom sent me food, <laughs> bought groceries. She was sitting there on FaceTime with me. She sang a song to me one night when I was going to bed, nigga. I was like, I can't sleep, what? nigga. She was like, close your eyes. I That's sing love. to you. I was like, oh, love. shit. It's like, I need to get sick more nice. often, get That's some beautiful. alone time with my mom. That's mama. hilarious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, <laughs> but you know, fuck this COVID shit. We ain't going to talk about this all the time, because guess what? <laughs> COVID, can't nobody hold me down. Yeah. Can't nobody take <laughs> my <laughs> shot. Yeah. Oh, no. COVID, you oh, can yeah. suck my dick. Yeah. Oh. Pung, nigga. <laughs> COVID-19, we beat you, you punk <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Hey, but listen, also, don't come around here. We got some here no COVID-19. Also, don't come around here. We antagonizing this motherfucker. Don't come around here no more. He's seen the videos. Don't come around here no more. Look, 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 He's look. seen our podcast. Look, 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 He's look. seen when the whole he season. He gonna make a diss video. <laughs> Yo, look, look, look. With COVID coming around, I'll be quiet. But when he <laughs> leave, I'll be talking I'll be again, nigga. I'll be talking again. <laughs> Yo, who's somebody that you shut the fuck up for, though? Like, who's somebody you absolutely listen to? 
You know what I mean? Like you listen, like this. If this person, whatever this person says, is, is God. Like that. That. That should. That. The, the mm. word is born right there. Once they say it, word is law. Ishallah. Right. That's what it is. Ishallah. I think so. Oh, uh, that just I, means. I just that word. just means. Uh, I, I, I think uh, Lord, like oh, yeah. God willing. Yeah. Oh, exactly. God willing. Ishallah. Yeah. All right. I said that. Sure. Don't you fucking check me on this podcast, Lou. I'm just saying. You yo, know. just push them buttons, dog. No, yo, no, no, yo. No, yo, yo. This nigga. Damn. Yo, we about to square up. He season about, two. He about season two, the drama hey. <laughs> <laughs> The beef between DC and Lou is hey, getting DC, ridiculous. Hey, DC, guess what? They didn't hear it. <laughs> right. Oh, yo. yo, 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 yo the rest of the DC, the rest of the episode. They didn't hear Yo, yo, my mic has been off. My mic's been off this whole time, nigga. <laughs> yo, the whole episode, <laughs> niggas is like, yo, DC, we well, never get this video on your, you, you will never on camera on no DC's more. Mic? <laughs> <laughs> will, will Lou ever turn DC mic on again? Will Lou clap back? Oh my god, that's find hilarious. out on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, but, but I don't know, it's man. Really Someone that I listen to, yeah. I, don't I like think it listen. can be somebody like a different person for different situations. Mm. I feel like if I trust a person to know more than me about something, mm. I'll be like, all right, I'll shut up mm. if you know what you're talking about. Mm. But you better know what you're talking about because the second I feel like you don't, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh, nigga, I got yeah. shit to say. Yeah, I that's it. it. I feel it. I feel it. You got to fact check a nigga. Yeah. And if you don't know what the – look, my, thing, my best way of fact checking a nigga is just shutting up and letting them talk. If I don't know enough, but I know a little bit, mm -hmm. I'll let them talk. And then I'll do my Googles. Mm -hmm. Like in the bathroom or something. Mm -hmm. And then I, because nah, I'm petty as shit. I'm coming back. I'm coming back that <laughs> hey, day. Hey, remember when you said, uh, <laughs> yeah, remember, yeah. remember a few minutes ago when yeah, we were having a conversation? just saying that. Yo, remember yeah. that night <laughs> when you was like, that night. Tonight, nigga? <laughs> Bruh. Because no, look, deadass. I'm talking to a Moe's, nigga. For y'all who don't know that, Moe's is a, a one third of Peace Gang, uh, my, my bandmate. Uh, uh, but I'm talking to him today with Sully. Mm -hmm. The other Peace Gang member, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there talking to him on the couch, and we're talking about zombie movies because we was watching all the Maze Runners today, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, this I heard nigga, you have this conversation. Yeah, and this I nigga was it. like, so I'm like, yo, damn, the Maze Runner zombies are mad fast. They can run real fast. They got super strength and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 right? So I'm like, damn, I fucked them zombies. Them zombies is crazy. I'm like, yo, if anything, I want the Walking Dead zombies. I don't want no, like, you know what I mean, them Resident Evil zombies. And then, so, like, Big difference. This nigga Tanji looks at me, nigga, he's like, he's like, Nah, bro. Resident Evil zombies wasn't that lit, bro. You talk about like the Dawn of the Dead zombies. Them shits was crazy. I'm like, Dawn of the Dead zombies wasn't crazy. Nah, they're not crazy at all. Them Dawn of the Dead zombies, what? You talk about like the Jay Leno? Does, like, come on, nigga. They, they was just walking in the fucking yeah. little fucking Resident Evil was crazy. Resident Evil zombies yeah, is the is worst wild. zombies of all time. No, no, no. You know what's the worst zombies what, of all what? time? 28 Days Later? No, that's World that's War Z. Cool. Oh, oh yes. That one's No, wild. yeah, no. Nah, them niggas that is crazy. Is wild as fuck. <laughs> them niggas is just was pretty good too. Huh? Will Smith zombies? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll say this. Those aren't really zombies though, are they? Yeah, they are zombies, nigga, because they can't come out during the day. And they don't even really be hunting nobody like that. They no, they do, nigga. Thing. They do. He Animals. just was the only nigga oh, over yes, there. You're right. He was the only nigga there. Yeah, they was they was setting up traps. They trapped this fucking they trapped him. Mm -hmm. Remember? Them mm -hmm. niggas was smart. Yeah. So they they was human esque zombies. They right. was like they was it was more they was <coughs> damn near vampires for real, for real. Yeah. They, they were on their way. They were on their yeah, way. Yeah, but um, but no, but if we're putting up if we're putting up World War Z zombies to fucking Scary Resident Evil zombies, zombies bro. Resident Evil zombies is the Fucking all time worst umbrella corp zombies are the worst zombies ever. Yeah, mm. facts. I don't know. You you disagree with this? Resident Evil zombies? Have you seen them niggas? The big ass dog joints. Yeah. The big motherfuckers with yeah, the fucking. Yeah, they do have some monster ass yeah, zombies. Yeah, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Those, that's, those aren't the worst. Those are the if best they, zombies. That's what I'm. Oh, okay. In, in okay. what okay. way, oh, nigga? Oh, yo, yeah, exactly, right. nigga. If you're a fucking zombie, <laughs> they, they, would, win. they, they would win the zombie Olympics, yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want to fight that. Exactly, nigga. As a nigga who's I, 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 in the world, <laughs> nigga, Resident Evil humans got the fucking worst yeah, time, nigga. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Everybody. I know what you mean. And they got to go against Umbrella Corp just trying that to That game used to suck, too, because you start out with just a handgun. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? These are zombies. You got to find a shotgun? I'll say this. I'll say this. Shotgun Did should you hear the news? Shotgun should be zombies pre happening. It's pre that's prerequisite. Right, right. That should be gun number two, nigga. That's those that secondary gun for sure. all the time. For sure. Shotgun. Why the fuck are we in a zombie? You gotta apocalypse? find a nigga who had a shotgun and then turned into a zombie. And that's the shotgun you gotta well, take. Also, also, I'll say this though. In real life, nigga, in real life, a pistol's just as good. Yeah. 
in the zombie apocalypse, yeah. in a real life zombie apocalypse, a pistol is okay. Yeah. Not if they're running. If huh? They're running, bro. I don't Not even know. Not if they the fast zombies. Yeah. yeah. If they the fast zombies, you need a shotgun. You need to spray the area. Yeah. You need your yeah. buck shot. You need your buck shot. The roof, first of yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Bang. And you might you yeah. might want to saw that shit off too, you know. No, a little man, you bit. don't even, don't, don't even saw get a the pipe. Don't even get a shotgun. Get a rifle. Get an assault rifle, semi-automatic or automatic, straight up. You showing you your do. whiteness right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> That's how you survive. <laughs> he said, "You want a semi-automatic AR-92 yeah. <laughs> with the reflex coil scope?" <laughs> the reflex coil. Yo, I got scope. Yo. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this, 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 you want to you want to get the mound on that motherfucker and shit, and you want to make sure you get 43 get caliber uh, bullet <laughs> hollow points. The red tip. Oh, that shit'll take out bear from a hundred miles away. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need if there's a fast zombies, though. If we being real, yeah, facts, yeah, that's facts. You know, that's facts. This you week's episode of the Pink House shotgun. Podcast is brought to you by the NRA. Right. The Second right. Amendment. <laughs> this is a man fucking. Uh, what are we? Right wing. Yeah, yeah, we right, right. Right. <laughs> Today's episode we brought to you by the Second Amendment. We almost mad right now. We got make America great again. Make America great again. Bring out the AR-15s. <laughs> you were just talking about that gun control. How yeah. gun how gun control oh, dude. being viewed in LA is starting to change. Yeah, dude. LA has been mostly liberal for like the last forever. Well, but I mean, but I, now having a gun isn't looked at as bad. Lou made the point. He was like, it's like we're in cowboy times. Shit, if other fuck motherfuckers got a gun, I'm not gonna be I the mean, only nigga without too, a gun. Yeah. Dude, dude, right, right. I've been no, no, seeing no a lot of fucking gun stores. I'm like, against. Packed, bro. I'm against. I'm against. Uh, I'm against guns, low key. But I got two. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know what that's, like, like, that's like, the like, general consensus around like, you know like, I mean? the like, area right I'm now, not, bro. I'm not like I'm against guns, like in the in the sense of like y'all niggas got to chill out and like structure y'all shit better. Because guess what? Like I shouldn't be able to own a gun. Just saying, I'm <laughs> mentally disturbed, my nigga. Like <laughs> I have suicidal thoughts often. Uh, so just let me buy a gun. They did Yo, it. And you can, and you no, can even go to gun sh- you can even go to gun shows. Like kids, children can go to gun shows and just buy it's a like gun. Like a car show. Yeah. I mean, look at the car, look at the gun. And an old nigga with a beard would just be like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you this gun. And they're like, thanks, Mister. You know? um. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Guns bought. This nigga's feet is light as a feather. Right, right, right. The gun. <laughs> look, Papa. Oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty ridiculous though, man. Lou's new nickname is Lou with the burner. No, burner. can we not? Lou with the burner. Can we not? Burner. Lou with the burner. Lou burner in the game, nigga. It's happening. Lou burner. Slam. We've already. Hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye. Lou Kang is now Lou with the burner. Anyways, <laughs> rap video shoots. Am I right? All right, <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm going to tell you this. The Peace Gang video shoots be wholesome as fuck, nigga. We be burning <laughs> incense and sage. <laughs> We have one girl there it's usually. Mad love and kids. positivity. Mad love and positivity. And on top of that, we get drunk and then we nobody ever gets poked with a knife. <laughs> Although in the culture video, Sully does pick up Machete and he is the Let's Latino one of out, of out of everybody. So I'm just saying, mm. if there's any Damn. correlation. There's any correlation there? Damn. You do like the knife there. play. You do, you do <laughs> niggas, you niggas do like the knife play. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> People from the Central of America's uh, <laughs> do fuck with their machetes. Well, Luke, yeah, okay, he I'm not gonna half lie. Half, so he won't give you a buck fifty. He'll just give you seventy five or some shit. Like <laughs> Yo, hit you with the one. Just a quick slash, you know. <laughs> <Quick> slash. <Shit. laughs> I take it out from under my tongue, real quick. So, so honestly, I will say this: those niggas was just trying to chase their dreams. They trying to do rap videos and shit like that. Does that mean that so they I'm looking at rap videos to be rappers? I, I want to know this: if just because you do. Because you can fantasize about a lifestyle, does that mean that you deserve it? No, you have to work for no, it. No, you got yeah, you gotta, gotta work, work for, for that shit. Yeah, work for it. But I think you can fantasize about a lifestyle and not even wanna be that lifestyle. Like I get it. When I'm in the, the car when I'm in the car driving like, I'll have a full-on concert of whatever song I'm listening to. A car concert, that's my favorite thing to do. But I, I don't want to be this. a rapper. I want to see that. You've seen me get down in the car to a song. Fuck no. We get down Dude. to songs in the car together. And you always sing them wrong, bro. That's my concert. Nigga, I you can't tell me. I hate it. <laughs> Yo, this nigga, this nigga Sean rapper, does you know? not sing. Yeah. No, okay. If there's a rap song on, Sean will turn it into a fucking 1940s show tune. <laughs> that's a let, No, yeah, literally, that's 1940s that's show tune. Because that's when real. That's when music was real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear his voice. <laughs> this nigga fucking turns everything into a... 
is like, yo, I got black, I got white, which you want. Uh, <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I got black, I got white, which you want. Uh. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that, Sean? Because if we're the, singing the song right now. <laughs> if the music's good, it'll be good in any language. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I fuck in with English it. is sometimes. Good. And Aaron, this used to piss Aaron off when we first started working on, on our show together. I, he would come over and I would listen to music, and sometimes I would speed the music up. Yeah, a couple weird. beats per minute. So yeah. it will be an R and B song. Hey, hey, wait, I'm hey, turning hey, it into a club he song. Would war- no, he would no, warn no, me. No, that's some he, would, he warned me. That's just some he warned me. I'll be like, he yo, I'm about to play some terrible like, shit. He was like, oh, and by the way, uh, <laughs> classic Sean fashion. Sometimes I just like to listen to music on double time. That's that Jersey uh, shit, though. Like, All right. is, listen, it helps me write, though. It listen. makes my brain move quicker, so I can be like, ah, da 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 This is like, you better call on Tyrone. You better call on Tyrone. Hey, you better call on Tyrone. Call him, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him. I knew he didn't fuck with it, because he would just get up from the table and go to the other side of the room. He was like, I'm going to work over here. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. So like, okay, so you so you fantasize of sometimes being a rapper, but don't necessarily mean that you was, you want to be a rapper. So do you feel like fantasizing, is fantasizing, is fantasizing healthy? I want to know that. Is fantasizing healthy or, or should we be planning? It depends what your fantasy it's is. It's called a, I, no, imagination. I, I, what do we mean? What do we, like, I think it's very healthy. Okay. You think fantasy I think healthy? humans have an urge in them to have dark thoughts or things like that. Like, yeah. so, oh, maybe I should uh, that's called, kill uh, this person or, or something. The call to the void. That's called, a, yeah, or a catharsis is another word for it. Well, well I think... Wait, 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 wait. I think, us being, yeah, I think us being able to watch a movie lives that out. Okay. Yeah, like, playing video games. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's what it like is. That. It's, like, it's like wanting to experience something but not wanting to do it firsthand. Your release of getting close enough to doing it is like, I just shot this nigga in, in, in a fucking, what's the game? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like, and like just killed him and stole his money. Like, so that's the like closest you don't get to it. Yeah, I don't got to do it now. I just did that shit <laughs> if there. If I'm a nigga who that's feels a, that's the what urge to shoot that's niggas, what, yeah. I think that's healthy for me yeah. to have that outlet <laughs> to where I could just log on. Nah, yeah. That's funny. When I, when, I, when, I, when I was going through the whole like bullshit with the COVID shit, I was really in a bad spot just being in the crib just for those those many days Mm -hmm. i ended up buying a ps4 like in the like in my room like we already have a ps4 in the house like i just bought a ps4 for my room (laughs) and playing the game like that ass like it kind of does it does let the steam off like how'd you get that delivered to your room directly did they just oh nigga nah all right look listen nigga we're not gonna talk about how i got the ps4 (laughs) ps4. Uh, just know i secured the bag just know just just know just know (laughs) but uh you know, shit, nigga. And fantasy I mean? can be bad, but you know, but the, you I, need that outlet. I want to know, like, because for me, like, dead ass dog. I will say this: it does help more for me to focus more so on the real shit. Mm. I feel like fantasy is what is what is. I think because of this day and age, uh, we're able to distract ourselves way easier than our grandparents Nigga, were. We yeah, got oh, every man. single we thing got to distract everything us. distracting. Bro. You know what I mean? We was we're able to My distract. own dick is distracting. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. But we got everything America. to distract America. ourselves. Like everything. I be yelling at that nigga, don't you want to be something? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but what I, I was saying that because we have everything to distract ourselves. Our parent our grandparents didn't really nah. and so like one, our grandparents didn't have the 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 know it all to know how to express how they were feeling because they didn't have the knowledge, mm. right? Uh, like everything wasn't Googleable. Yeah. Like, oh, why do I feel this way? Oh, depression, nigga. Oh, like you are might be bipolar. Even, like you know what I'm even, saying? Even, even that's the first thing that, that pops up on Google. Information literally everywhere we are. Bro. Yeah. So are I we mean, the opposite of that? We're the way we have we have all the knowledge to all express now. ourselves. And we, yes. and, we can fi- and we can figure out like I can't tell you how much I've learned from Twitter threads. Just people be like, yo, I've had this experience and I, I've learned about this. I'm gonna tell you about it now. And then just be tweets, just yes. like long paragraphs. Yes. Like, yo, community I people. learned. Yeah. Today. Like, no facts. Like, it's crazy, no bro. Facts. Like, it's always information. You can everywhere. learn anything anywhere. Yeah. You can learn how to do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a fucking strong advocate for YouTube University. Like, you know right. I mean? So, like, we can learn a Me lot too. of shit. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of niggas is like, fuck going to college, nigga. I'm going to do YouTube. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, dead ass. So, because we have that many distractions, though, when you are sitting in your room by your fucking self with nothing besides your thoughts. Yeah. 
Mm. And the information and all the information about how depressed you are and how sad you are and on top of that the election was lasting a week exactly Bruh. like but when you're when you're literally sitting with just your own thoughts and just your own opinions in your Mm -hmm. own world and all you've had is fantasy for so long how do you how is that healthy for your brain can I say something because I don't I feel like for me. It's detrimental. I've been trying okay. to think I more so long term, real life shit, mm-hmm. like actually starting a family. Yo, real actually, quick. Well, then I think that, wait, 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 real quick, real quick. I've been thinking a lot more about actually starting a family and actually starting things like with my actual life, with Pink House, with our podcast, with our mm-hmm. my music, with my comedy. You're right, right. I've been thinking about. I've been making those steps. And I guess for some that would be fantasy, right? But no, no. I think I think that it's where fantasy can get bad is when you forget, when you lose track of which is reality and which is fantasy. I feel that. As Got long you. as you are in tune, where be like, okay, I know this is reality, and this is where I go to escape, or this is the fantasy that I, I like to play the game from this time to this time. But I know what reality is, and I handle my shit so that I can have the time to play the game. That that where where those lines start to blur yeah. and like uh, where you lose the the gray area. It's, or where there's a gray area that, that I guess happens. That's where I think it can kind of get fucked up because a person will be delusional and be like, yo, I'm this when in reality they're this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah, I got true. something similar. I had like uh, like a real crazy like realization about myself recently, mm-hmm. which is that uh, it's kind of like I had like a little bit of identity crisis, dude, like mm-hmm. where it's like if I'm not working and if I'm not talking to girls i don't know what the fuck i'm doing like i'm like what am i facts Mm -hmm. facts i'm either working or talking to shorties yeah and when i'm not doing either of those two i'm just like well i'm I'm just gonna other part yeah i don't even care about movies anymore i don't care about fucking i get anxiety when i'm like today i've been waiting like just like all day it was just a preamble to to this podcast yeah to this i'm just like sitting my morning away like man what can I work yeah. on right now? Yeah. Like, it's just shit is slow right now. So yeah, it just it's things. And, that, are and that's like what. But that's what I mean. Game. When you're when 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 the dust is settled. Yeah. When fantasy is no longer there. Yeah. Right. And you're left with just your own you devices. Just sit there by yourself. And like, fuck it. Say your phone's dead for the fucking. Mm-hmm. You know how long it takes for an iPhone to turn back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Like, it, like exactly. <laughs> and and say you like say say nigga what? Remember when our fucking cable went out for like fucking thirty minutes? Yeah. Like, yeah. nigga, <laughs> right. Wi-Fi down for 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. You ain't got your... you you. What are you... Like, wh- like it, it, it literally gets to you sometimes where it's yeah. like, what the fuck am I supposed... I'm, I, I work. You know, I do yeah. comedy. I perform. I'm a performer. All mm-hmm. I do is perform. A- exactly, when I don't but doesn't it... Uh, when Exactly, but doesn't it also get to you when, okay, all you do is perform, all you do is work, and all you do is grind, mm-hmm. and you know your purpose, and you know what you do, but then somebody will be like... Yo, what what do you do, or what 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 have you been up to? And it's like, or, or like, people always ask me, what are you what are you about to do? What are you working on? What do you got planned? And it's like, nigga, you don't know what I do. Like a person that knows yeah, me, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, working on cartoons, nigga. I'm oh, gonna have man. the same fucking oh, answer. Oh man! And when when somebody be like, oh, what are you doing today? What do you got planned for this weekend? And it's like, don't. T- don't you see what the fuck? I, and like the other, uh, I just think not even just for me personally. I think that like uh. I, that's where sometimes I'll talk to myself and be like, damn, did I lose track of reality? Because my reality is I work on this shit every day so that I can be in this lifestyle and so that I can be respected and looked at as this. But if I'm not that to the world, then just like I'm fucking not aware. Mm-hmm. And you got to be uh, you obviously can have your dreams and be aware of where you want to go. Mm-hmm. But if you're not aware of where you are in the world, then you don't really have an accurate roadmap to get there. No, yeah, that's beautiful. That's well said. That's deep. Yep. That's why we got you on the podcast, Shani. Yeah, Sean. Not just to, not not just, just to say things not that just to have say to be corrected oh. or apologized yeah. for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, guys, we're not getting canceled. Who Out of the oh. 15 oh, listeners that we have, canceled? all no. 14 of them are our friends. Right now, got canceled on Hinge, buddy, because of you. Because <laughs> of me. Because of you. Got canceled on Hinge. Do you see that canceled? On to the story. I'm yeah, talking story. to a shorty on Hinge. Yep. Hey, shorty, how you doing? We're talking. We're talking. We're having a great time. Hitting it off. Yep. It's amazing. Yep. She's like, yo, what's your Instagram? Say, here, here's my Instagram, baby. Yeah. At DC I was. You see, it's always right here. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Smash it. Smash it's that follow button. 70% ease yeah. in the name. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and, and I'm fucking sitting there. I'm talking to Shorty, and she comes back an hour and a half later. An <laughs> Yo, hour and a half the, later. Just... And she hits me back up with specific points. No, she did a list. And she says. Itemized list. I mm. cannot talk to anyone who runs a misogynistic podcast like yours. You got and I said, what? You said, B. I said, what are you talking about, bitch? I'm the misogynist? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, bitch? Uh, it's I'm probably me. It's this? probably me, bro. No, I, say, I don't know who it was. I say, bitch, like, 52 times an episode, bro. She mentioned a lot of statements that you had had. <laughs> and she also mentioned some statements that I had. Most of the statements that she had mentioned were about the cancer shorty. So what? Okay. That's low-key Because I don't want to date somebody with cancer? I'm misogynistic? Wow. Listen, baby. I, I just met her. I big up the women. I root for y'all. You guys are killing it out here. If anybody, keep on keeping on. cancer phobic. That was fucking oh. a mansplain just now. And it we're going to get canceled for that. I don't know <laughs> anything. That was mansplain? I don't know. God I don't know. I don't know. I'll say this. I just got to shut the fuck up We somebody here's in here. Another thing. Here's, another, here's another thing that people got to realize. And it made me think about this when I was watching Kevin Hart's new special. But it was yeah. something I like... I thought about before anyways people gotta realize that a lot of the time as a job as comedians one of the jobs in comedy like there's many like reasons different for different comedies mm -hmm. like one of the rules like things that comedians do is hold a mirror up to society and by doing that they talk about the things that they're not perfect at nigga we not no, none of us here are perfect people and that's our job at is to all. not be that our job is to come out and be like yo I'm not that and I'm gonna tell you why I'm not that and maybe you cannot be that you know what I mean? And that's not even to say that we're misogynistic, but what we're doing literally that people got to understand it's showing you on purpose is. is showing that that that, that, that that some thoughts do exist and there's things that things that we may even that we, we talk about things that we may even think that we don't even want to think. You know what no, I mean? Like I, that we want to correct of ourselves. I think you know I got mean? a nice and that's a thing that. that And like to even bring up for her to bring up the situation with the girl that has cancer, like you you brought that to us because you wanted to vulnerable. talk about that. You wanted to talk about that. that was my most you you moment. felt bad about what you were feeling so you came to and us to talk about it. And there was somebody out there going through that who was just like exactly I didn't know what to so, think exactly and there's someone in all <laughs> these positions there's someone in all these positions she listening. had good pussy too right. I was just like damn her pussy ain't dead keep on baby see, right that's the misogyny I see what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> there, it <is. laughs> there it is okay there it is we Bro. found it I'm yeah. there it is we oh, found oh, it oh that's the misogyny oh I'm growing oh. I, you know what <laughs> I could be a better person than that but no, I, look, I think that that's empowerment I'm like go ahead cancer shorty put that good pussy out there live your best cancer life listen listen yeah facts Never. You was born in July? Oh no, you just dying. All right, okay, oh, cool, god. cool. Oh my god, you I got a good. Shorty. Okay, you a cancer? <laughs> you a cancer, Shorty? You a Welcome to hell. We blocked this yeah, whole. All right, all we blocked area. this whole section off. All area. Of Sean. This is just like okay. a Steven Spielberg segment we did. I, oh my <laughs> god. Yo, that Steven Spielberg segment needs to be bottled up and crazy. thrown in the ocean. That was crazy. I'm so glad that shit never. <laughs> Steven Spielberg, there's a story we'll <laughs> never tell you, we'll my never... man. I promise you that. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all can uh, y'all can never cross me though. Yo, yeah, no, 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 never. He's got no, all, never. He has, I got the receipts. Who baby. has all the transcripts, nigga? <laughs> I got the receipts. I'm gonna say this. Back with oh the misogynistic God. shorty. The sh well, the shorty who called me misogynistic. <laughs> the misogynistic shorty. I just want to say this. <laughs> now the shorty's misogynistic. Yeah, fuck her. You know what? I hate these bitches. I'm gonna say this right now. <laughs> fuck her. I'm gonna with be honest. Titties like me. Oh, honestly, <laughs> damn. Cause yeah. not because I gave her I gave her a really good response and I said to her straight up. I said, yo, first of all, you said, listen, girl, no, I'm not no lame nigga. I was giving her no. Games, I nigga. gave her the benefit of the doubt. I said, yo, as a man who was raised by predominantly women, I don't even know how to be misogynistic. I didn't know that that was a thing until recently, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that ass. I didn't know what the... Remember, what I was asking y'all niggas mm -hmm. about certain shit. When I heard about mansplaining, nigga, to this day, I still don't get it. I don't know. It's I think it's just niggas yeah. talking. Well, let me explain. I think it's to niggas you. talking when you don't want when you don't want me to talk. Mm. You don't want me to talk, and now I'm mansplaining. <laughs> now nah, mansplaining is like if she says something, they be like, "Oh, fellas, this what she mean." That's mansplaining. Sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes, you but she meant what she meant. But I, I do that for you. Niggas do that for me all the time. I'm not gonna call it mansplaining, and I'm because I'm gonna have the confidence and wherewithal to where if you say something where I don't agree with, I'm gonna be like, "Nah, that's not what I meant." That's and good. if you are in on the right road, I'm gonna be like. Go ahead, nigga. You talking. Yeah. Yeah, true. But that's what Same happens. Here. Same here. Same thing with... Nigga, I don't know how many times Monte has to fucking tell somebody... But, I, this but is what, what I'm DC saying is... And niggas be like, 
oh, DC, that's what you meant. I'm like, bitch, I just said that. You gotta keep in, you gotta keep in mind the plight of a woman. We are. I do understand it. I, I know you do, that. and I, I, I know you do. That. That's my explaining right there. Oh, wait, Lashawn, Lashawn, do it off. Well, I, I know you do understand it, just as you explained of how you grew up no, yeah, and, yeah. and how you respect women. And I've seen you interact with women. You're you're very respectful and always on point. Women love being around you. I, this is not an ad for DC, but vote for DC. <laughs> if it is, if it is, <laughs> tell them about the dick game. Baby. Tell them, <laughs> tell them about it. Tell them about, about, about the slap thighs with that. Nigga. <laughs> Like, I was over here like, he did wear me? No, nigga, that's not how I went. That's not how I went. That's not how I went. No nasty, no nasty. No, no. But I'm saying, you do have to keep in, keep in mind yeah. that often women, the same way you said that there's two options to handle the shooter, you can take them head on, or you can play... Uh, Two, mm -hmm. three coverage or play the outside. Women often have to do that to protect our own egos. Even when, even yeah, when right. it's guys like us, where yeah, it's like, right. nah, you can be straight up with me. They still just for the generalization. General, yeah. I can't even talk. Generalization of men try to do that to protect our egos. Yeah. And so when they're trying to get their shit off, you almost kind of have to egg them on so that they have the confidence to get their full point off. And that was misogynistic of me to say, but I do notice that where like, and you do this as well though. When you're when a woman is around and she's trying to get her shit off, you make her feel comfortable and be like, nah, go ahead, say your shit, baby, we, we got you. And and yeah. Yeah, she may not need you to step in, but just you doing it, I think is just our, see, but that's what, our representation of just trying to show love. And I, uh, exactly. the best way we, because we see all day on Twitter, yo, black men don't give a fuck about women. black women. Protect black women. Y'all don't y'all okay. y'all always saying yada yada yada. Y'all don't want to pay no bills. Y'all don't want to take nobody on dates. Like I love sending girls flowers. I know you have sent girls flowers. I love taking girls on dates. $250. So I'll be like, yo, if you ain't getting took on a date, maybe you not worth because the girls that are getting taken on dates don't complain about dates. They not, they, and they not speaking yeah. up to those other girls saying like nah we out here going on dates but I'm I'm but I but I'm Damn, saying that's facts. That, wait hold on hold on nigga. I'm getting I'm getting on another point I'm getting on another this nigga point. Sean just I'm getting on another point. <laughs> but the, the first point is the first point is what we are trying to do sometimes with mansplaining is our version of loving the best way we know how. It's like yo we ain't never we ain't Dude, never really. Dub. Especially because 80% of us black guys grew up without a father. We ain't never really seen somebody love our mom correctly. So we don't know. And the ones that do, do probably handle that better. But but when you haven't necessarily seen that and you got to go off TV or movies or maybe your idea of a good relationship because your older brother. Let me get on mic. I'm over here yeah. preaching and shit. <laughs> but fucking uh, when you have seen that, you try to go off your version of the Huxtables, your version of the Cosby show. Yeah. And yeah. then you like, yo, all right, this is what I'm trying to pattern my love off. And sometimes it don't really work out like that because she like. Like, nah, nigga, you treating me like shit trying to step on my words. No, that's facts. I mean, I just, for me, the reason that, the, the thing that, pissed, first of all, I want to say, well said, nigga. Mm -hmm. Clap it up for a well said Sean Stanley. Yeah, I mean, well said, Shawnee Sean Mac Stanley. out here fucking pimping the game up right now. I'm just saying. But if you have fucking, with the shorty that I was talking to, if she had took the time to talk to me, Right, just to straight up be like, yo, look, listen, I don't fuck with your podcast. Like yeah. the messaging What's is weird. Right? Yeah, I guarantee you, she did not watch all of the episodes. No, she didn't mention nothing about us talking about how men need to learn each, learn each other's love language. Mm -hmm. She didn't talk anything about how uh, we That's talked so about dangerous about a clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She didn't talk nothing about how like niggas was like when we, when we went straight into like explaining how we feel women should express their trauma to us mm. and how we also yeah. have sure. no say in how you express your trauma to us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We understand that we don't <laughs> know what the fuck we talking about yeah. all the time. I yeah. know I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I know I ain't shit. Mate ain't shit. Ain't Lou shit. ain't shit. I'm not. Sean is a habitual offender of I not being like shit. Yeah. And he is self-proclaimed. Mm -hmm. So you know we ain't shit. Mm -hmm. I don't think I proclaim this. I, I view it a different <laughs> way. I thought proclaimed. that all these guys were doing good, so I was like, hey, at least I hang out with some all right guys. <laughs> <laughs> so now, no. now I know that I'm bringing the whole team now with my ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> bringing the whole Shut. team down. I'm if you ain't the shit. trade. You know Shut, what? If I'm you going to shit. play for a startup organization. <laughs> Sean, if you ain't shit, then we ain't shit by association at certain days. Mm -hmm. On, certain On times, Tuesdays some, and Fridays. To some extent. To mm -hmm. some extent. Mm -hmm. Because we also be agreeing. We also be looking at you sometimes being like, you know what, Sean got a point. Monday yeah. to Thursday, I ain't shit. Yeah, Monday to Thursday. I'm going to tell you. The rest of the weekend, you good, though? 
Yeah, I'd be trying. I feel like on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday you'd be like, I, I'm getting it in. I'd be I'm busy on the I'd be busy on the weekends. Okay, I've been you should be doing lately. it. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting booked up. Okay, I, you know I'm That's over good. here shooting videos with gangbangers and shit. Let yeah. me know. You yeah. know, two hundred. Well, look, video. listen. <laughs> yeah. This is to the fans. Yo, this is to everybody who watches the podcast. This is to the shorty who cancels me on Hinge. Um, I back. want you. To, I don't care if she's back. <laughs> I don't want you to come back. All right. Yeah. I want yeah, you to come friend, back. If you come back. I want you to come correct. He doesn't want you to come back. No, no. Come actually, correct. it's whatever. If she comes no, back, I actually, I actually want to open. Don't call it a come. You know what? I'm Fuck sorry. that. I want. I, I'm open. I open the floor for her to come on the podcast. <laughs> oh shit! I'm down. I want to know. Yeah. How to not be misogynistic? Okay. She's got to do some research. Fuck this. Anybody watching this podcast right now, the first person to DM... Come with at least three points. Look, listen. Yeah, yeah. The you first need person to There's DM, some prerequisites. The first person to DM the Pink House podcast will be on the next podcast. Yeah. To let us and know. To let us... In the, but but you got to be DMing us yeah. because you think that this podcast is misogynistic. I want you to come Or it needs to be corrected. Well, let us know. Help us let out. Us know. And but I know when that shit drops because I drop it. He, know, he drops himself. I was going to say bitch, but I stopped no, myself. No, say it. No, you can I, say bitch. I drop it, bitch. Yeah, he drops it, bitch. <laughs> Look, listen. A part of being a part of being an asshole is like fucking code switching, nigga. Don't code switch for nobody. If you, 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 you all the time. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah, me? I call true. my niggas that's bitches. True. We call each other bitches in the house <laughs> all the facts. time. Mm -hmm. That's facts. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not calling it, 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 bitch is just an adverb. Nigga. I call Monte a is bitch it, at adverb? least. No, it's no, not I'm an adverb. Kidding. Is it not? <sighs> What's an adverb? It's a noun. Oh no, it's a pronoun. Bitch is a <laughs> Yo, Loki, bitch is a pronoun. Yeah. It can be I used. Think it can be a noun. Bitchly. I think oh, bitchly. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. Some bitchly. Yeah. That's an adverb. Okay. Well, nigga, it's a I fucking. A it's, a, it's a noun. It's a verb. It's, it's a. a it's a pronoun. A pronoun. It can be a verb. It can be a pronoun too. Shit. I go by bitch. Bitch can't be a verb. Bitch can't be a verb. I would like bitch. Oh, that thing is bitching. Yeah. Bitching is is a. Bitching is a verb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bitch is not. What if this is how we taught yeah. English? What I do? Act more uh, bitchingly. bitchingly. Okay. But anyway, regardless, nigga, I just want to really come on here and just really like, I want to get this right. You know what I mean? I don't want anybody to ever leave this podcast having a sour taste in their mouth. I think 90% of people who watch our podcast, fuck that. 98% of people who wow. watch our podcast. That's a good, that's a good fuck that. 96% of people who watch our podcast. <laughs> Think that we're saying some real shit, and I'm, 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 and I hold that, and I'm really only talking to the people who fuck with me, and I'm talking to people who fuck with our shit. Mm -hmm. But also, Facts. I want to get through to, cause I think there is a lot of gems hidden in here. That if you get through a little bit of the shit that we're talking about, that you don't like, there's some gems in there that you could take home to your big cousin, your little brother, your little, your older brother, your dad, your your uncle, your your, your fucking stepfather, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Because we be dropping some knowledge. I'll even say this. We're all here. We all got different perspectives. So there might be some things that some of us say that you don't, you know, that you agree with, and then others that you don't agree with. That's why we're all here to talk about it. Because yeah. we're all figuring this shit out all Everybody the time. Everybody likes Monte. We understand. So <laughs> Oh, that was Monte's promo for you <laughs> can, I, can I say for Monte, can I say one you know? can I Go say one it. last thing before we close out yes go ahead episode one season two I don't represent the Latin voice like I'm just Lou thank you, know you Lou yeah. season two episode one he's saying it he's thank saying you it. Lou he's I represent Lou. on it thank but you. wait but I do fuck with all my Latin people bro mm -hmm. like and it's just no matter what if, mm -hmm. if I see you in the street I'm gonna be like you know, yeah, we don't have, but Lou I don't, I don't speak, Latin. I don't yeah. speak for all of the Latin community. Yeah, we do. We didn't pick Lou up because we was like, you know what we need? A brown guy, fool. <laughs> yeah, a know, brown guy, need. fool. Nah, we did not. We picked him up because we love Lou. Yeah, for who he is. Yeah. Which is a Latin guy, because honestly, we, need a, <laughs> we needed we needed a brown guy for real. Nah, but yo, you know what? This been the motherfucking episode one, yeah. of season motherfucking two of the Pink House podcast. Bam, bam, we bam. talked about motherfucking misogyny. Yeah, we talked about motherfucking uh, what else we talked about? I'm trying to think of things we talked about. Shit, zombies. We talked about zombies. Which one you like? Resident Evil, Tanji? You a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Resident Evil Zombies are fast as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. That's kind of crazy, Tanji. You're wildin', bro. Thank you. Down the Dead was made in the 1950s, bro. Yeah, you're tripping. That's like the first you, one, bro. Walking zombies, nigga. Come on, bro. We talked about Stupid. guns. We talked about guns. guns. We and we talked about, about not mansplaining. Not don't mansplaining. Also, don't do that shit. Also, probably don't mansplain, but... But like, try to figure out like how you can do that better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no, because sometimes yo, 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 motherfuckers don't be understanding. Yeah, no, no, just no, no, make no, it cooler. What I mean by that, what, what I mean by that is like, like, 
Like, probably take her aside and be like, yo, look, look, can I say this? Mm. Like, check in. Mm. Check in before you explain. Yo, just take her in the room and be like, yo. It's like, nah. Sean, it's this like, is, nah. It's, it's when you do those things. We talked about Sean for a while. Yeah. We talked oh, about, talk about Sean. Talk about Sean. He's working on it. Sean, he's, he's Sean is working on it. No, he's just not the, he's not the right person Sean's for this show. Working. He's working on it. <laughs> this is, that's one of the characters. Yeah, listen. The that's great, one of the, the characters. The great thing about this is, the great thing about this is, any woman that has ever dealt with me will openly come on here and say, yo, he doesn't, that's not him. He doesn't slap women. Yeah. That's yeah. not how he does it. He's more mental with it. He's more like, like uh, a mental game. <laughs> Isn't that, but that's not also why we fuck with him. You know what I mean? We fuck with him because he's a good guy and we It's getting harder to defend. It's I almost know. it's almost prerequisite. For our that viewers, it's getting we're hard cutting to this part out. <laughs> yeah, that's, Yo, facts. Yo, facts. This I'm is all gone. Out, that is that. I'm DC. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Never mind. <sir>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lou Gomez. I'm Lou Kang. Hey, oh, hell no. I'm, I'm Lou Kang. No, he can't be Lou Kang. No, he's Lou, Lou Kang, everybody. Give it up, Lou Kang. Uh, and I'm fucking Aaron Bonte. And how the fuck you bitches uh, been? Yeah. I got a no, community to protect, bro. Oh, who's Sean? Who's Sean? You? I'm DC. I'm not That's, Sean. I'm DC. <laughs> I'm Aaron. I'm Aaron Gaston, hey. a.k.a. Shooter. <laughs> and <laughs> who films this episode. So, uh, Sean. If I'm he's Sean. Lou Kang, then you're Sean, bro. Oh, my God. All right. That is a show. All right. That's been the show. You bitches. <laughs> Uh, what, yeah, we talked about a lot. So fucking get the merch. Uh, yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on everything. Yeah, you know I mean, Pink yeah. House Podcast. We big bipping. Do you know that. What I'm saying, yo, run them numbers up. All right, we love y'all. All right. All right. Peace out of here, bitch. Fim, 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 fim. Get some merch, bitch.